Mr. Bunker, and then uh, Mr. Grant. Thanks. I'm sorry to have gotten so heated earlier. I, I know that, uh, you know, there, were, there was going to be an attempt to shut me down. I didn't realize how hard the attempt would be. So I, I want to thank the uh, deputy for not arresting me. It's not an me. attempt to shut you down. It's an attempt to point comment to the agenda items rather than making it. Now you can, now you can talk about right. just about. Fair Just enough. about anything you want. Fair enough, Mr. Buster. Okay. And, and I thank you for saying, well, what's the problem with listening for a couple more minutes? Um, I, I knew when I got up this morning at 4.30 to hop in the car and drive up here from San Diego that, you know, there was not a snowball's chance in hell that you would repeal the bill. Uh, you know, I, I knew I was tilting at windmills, but sometimes you got to try, you know? Sometimes the lost causes are, are the best causes. And I, I know somebody earlier here said, uh, what can we do? I mean, the, the, the IRS has given them a tax-exempt status. I mean, there's, there's nothing we can do. I mean, has anybody tried? Now that you know the FBI is investigating human trafficking, is anybody going to look into it? Are you going to try to find out about it and see if there's something we can do? It seems like a simple enough thing to do. I mean, I, you, I know you probably look at me and go, oh, Scientology, we wish that guy would shut up. But i got to try, you know? And, and as I was sitting here waiting to speak again, I was thinking about an email I got two days ago from a young girl who was raised in the Sea Org, and her parents died, and she had uh, other people taking care of her in the Sea Org. At the age of 14... She was declared a suppressive person and kicked out of the group. She told me that they drove her to the nearest train station and dropped her off there with no money. And because she was declared suppressive, no one in Scientology could talk to her. So she was left with no money, no family, no friends, nothing. And she lived on the street for years. And she, uh, now it's, uh, it's uh, decades later, and she just said, thank you for trying. Mr. Stone says, I know that no good deed goes unpunished. And I understand how you feel, Mr. Stone, because you did a good deed for Scientology by putting that bill through, and you have gotten hell from all over the world for it. I know it has been really, really hard on you, and perhaps it hurt your chances at higher office. If so, I'm glad, because we need people who will care about the people. Scientology is not the biggest problem in Riverside County, but for those people who are being abused right now by Scientology, it is their biggest problem. Could somebody try? Thank you.